Welcome, this is William from Puget Systems, and today we're going to be doing a quick walkthrough video of the different cases that we offer at the moment. So, just to give you kind of a quick overview, I'll just walk down the line here. We've got them in ascending order from smallest to largest, as you can see there. And then I'll take a moment and talk about each one for those who are curious about details. Starting down here at the first one, this is our Traverse Pro 15-inch laptop. It's sort of a desktop replacement or mobile workstation, you might say. 15-inch 4K screen, desktop class CPU, high-end video card options. Pretty hefty as laptops go, but if you're looking for a lot of power on the go, it's a great option. And I apologize for the glare here. It and some of the other cases have a protective film over them to keep them from getting scratched up or banged up during uh, production here. And then we'll kind of rotate and move down the line a little bit. This first chassis here is the Antec ISK110. It's what we use for our small form factor echo system. It's an ITX chassis. Uh, no expansion room, only a couple of two and a half inch drive options. But if you're looking for something nice and compact, it's a great way to go. It comes with a small power supply, but we actually have to upgrade that here in order to support some of the CPUs we want to put in the system. So it's got a bit beefier of a power brick than uh, the case comes with by default if you buy from us. And then here we've got the Silverstone ML07. This is what we use for the Echo Pro. It's still ITX, but quite a bit larger in order to fit a full-size video card there in that top area. Uh, it's also got a bigger power supply, not full ATX size, but SFX, uh, so it can handle high-end video cards all the way up through the Titan X currently. And uh, it's got a uh, slot-loading optical drive that you can kind of see there. I should also note both of these cases can be laid horizontally if you'd rather have them that direction instead of standing up. They work either way quite well. This next case here is also from Silverstone. It's the SG-10. This is what we use for our Serenity smaller system and also in our Peak Mini. It's micro ATX, full-size ATX power supply, plenty of depth for large video cards and other expansion cards, and a bit more drive options than the smaller Echo systems, but still a very compact form factor, as you can see, even slightly shorter than the Echo Pro standing up. Um, it's also an interesting case in that we've developed a hard shell carrying case for it that is uh, travel on, or excuse me, carry-on size for traveling in airplanes and uh, wheeled and everything. It's a great little option. Uh, you can see it on the configure pages for the Serenity and the Peak Mini. Uh, moving up here, this is the Define Mini from Fractal Design. It's actually the one case in this lineup that's not used on any of our branded systems, but it's a good solid micro ATX case, a bit larger than the SG-10 as you can see, but that gives it extra room for more drives internally more fans, that sort of thing, uh, but still a very quiet setup if you want uh, a quiet chassis with just a hair more space than the SG-10 offers. Moving up, we have its larger brother, the Define R5, again, still from Fractal Design. This is a full ATX version of the case right before it. Uh, it's actually got quite a lot of space inside. This is probably our most popular case at the moment. We use it on our Serenity Pro, our Genesis One, and some other systems. Uh, very quiet setup if done properly. Lots of room inside to work. Uh, eight drive bays for three and a half or two and a half inch drives, as well as a couple of optical bays. Right next to it, this is basically the same internal layout, but a different exterior. This is the Fractal Design Arc MIDI. It's basically just uh, takes the Define R5 and puts more of an emphasis on cooling. It's got a open front instead of a door. It's got an open top as well with fan mounts possible in all those spots and very good filtration as well. So if you're looking for a system where noise isn't so much of a concern but you want lots of cooling, it's a great way to go. And it's used on our Spirit and Deluge systems currently. And then moving up to the next one, we've got the Define XL. This is the big brother to the Mini and the Define R5. It's an extended ATX version of those cases. Some additional drive bays, room for an extended ATX motherboard, it's used in our Genesis 2 and some of our larger peak workstations at the moment. Great setup, again, can be done very quietly if you configure it properly. And then the last system here is a behemoth. It is the Blackhawk Ultra. It is used for our quad Xeon workstations, so four CPUs, which requires a massive motherboard, as you can imagine. And just to give you an idea of exactly how large it is compared to the other cases here, there they all are together, and you can kind of see if you go over here, it eclipses all the others as well, of course. Uh, and then we'll just kind of walk back down the line here so you can see how large they are compared to each other. 
But that's pretty much it. That's the case lineup here at Puget Systems as of early 2016. And of course that'll change in the coming months and years. We always try to keep up to date with uh, the best cases that are available for the sort of systems we, we want to offer, which means an emphasis on quality, uh, rigidity uh, and security and shipping. You have to be careful with a lot of cases. They're not necessarily designed to handle being shipped across the country with a full set of components in them. And uh, yeah, I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any questions, certainly feel free to call us or reach out to our technical consultants. We'd be happy to help you with a new system. Have a nice day.